Hi all, Mass Bound Cup from Kaiser Power Electronics. When I get by servers that are thrown out, the first thing I do is pull out all the power supplies and quickly look up the model number. Now in this case it is a HP DPS 800 GPA. Now what you quickly will find with Google image search is that if someone else has reverse engineered the control connections in order to make it run outside of the server environment. And that is the case with this power supply. So uh, for a uh, little project I'm doing, I need a 800 watt, 12 volt power supply. So this is actually pretty perfect. Uh, might just get that close to the camera again. Because as we can see, this is actually a dual use model. Uh, it has a input range from 110 to 120 volt and up to 200 to 240 volt. And the output power actually depends on which country you're in. So by using this in the US, you will only have a max of 850 watt. But in Europe, where we have 230 volt AC in the wall socket, you could actually push this to a thousand watt. So it's perfect for my little project. Now, it's rather basic, it has one green LED, the input socket, a little handle, at the other end it has two small fans, it has a few markings on the, the pads here, 32, 30, will help you identify the pads when you see the schematics you can find online. Now, what you can notice about these uh, large power pads here is that the large one that goes the furthest amount out is usually the negative rail. You could also measure with a multimeter between this rail and the casing as it would be grounded. If you want to mount some kind of socket in this, like a banana plug or maybe some pin headers or yeah, some other terminals, it is important that you do not drill holes through here as this is a four layer board and you will actually risk short circuiting this, the positive and negative rail against each other or against some other parts of the circuits. So do not drill against these, but if you need to have a high current output connection, solder your wires to both sides. From the attached schematic you can see up here in the left corner, you have to connect pad 31 and 34 in order to make this boot up. Now, I am not interested in adjusting the voltage on this, but you can find some radio amateurs that would like to get this up to 30.6 volts to use in ham radios. You will also have to connect some kind of potentiometer. Now, we can see we have pin 30 and 32, so we have pin 31 here in the middle, and then it continues on the other side with 33 and 34. So it's actually just a bridge directly from top to bottom on the second pin from the left when looking at this end. With the small jumper in place between pin 31 and pin 34, the multimeter connected up to the negative and positive rail. Let's just try to plug it in. And it boots up nicely. 12.44 volt DC. Green LED is turned on. Maybe we can reflect that a bit here. And as we can hear, the noise from the two built-in fans is actually quite low. And from reports on other that has hacked this PSU into running, I can read that the fan noise will actually not be that much worse unless you push it for 10 to 15 minutes full load. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you will forever keep any server power supply that you come across because these are some very cheap if not free powerhouses that you can reuse for so many projects. You can parallel almost as many as you want of these and you can put up to three in series for up to 36 volt DC. So until next time, see ya.